this is a product that you guys kept asking me about in my comments. Okay, so in order to get to another fave, I have to tell you about a fave. Yeah. I, Nicole Fisher, bought a blush. Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my April faves and fails. Every month I love doing these and as long as I keep seeing the thumbs up on these types of videos, I'm going to keep doing them. I know for a while faves and fails kind of nobody wanted to watch them, but you guys seem to really enjoy them. So you just keep letting me know. I love doing these videos for you because not only do I get to kind of touch base with you guys and just kind of chat with you about things that I've been loving or not loving, but I also get the opportunity to do my favorite part of the month, which is shout outs. I shout out other small channels that support me and I love to throw that support back your way. And my frequent commenters, there are so many of you every month. I'm trying to write it down. I have my little handy dandy notebook here. So I'm gonna be shouting out some of you guys as well. I'm also gonna be letting you know about some products I'm going to be trying over the next few weeks. I collected some new items at the end of the month, so I can't really tell you if it's a fave or a fail, but I'm letting you know something that I'm gonna keep trying right now. If you are new to my channel, I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun, loud, weird, unique videos I put out every single week. The first thing I'm gonna be starting with is something that I was kind of on the hunt for for a while, and I am pretty pleased with this. This is a Not Your Mother's Plump For Joy Body Building Hair Dry Shampoo. This is for, um, this scent is in mango, and this is for um, giving you some volume to your hair in the mornings when you don't have time to wash it or you're choosing to kind of wait a few days between washes to help it grow, all that good stuff. I got this recommendation, some of it from you guys and some people that I know who were constantly needing a dry shampoo. And it's kind of like when you take a recommendation from someone on a dry shampoo, you don't want it to be someone who hardly uses it. You need it to be somebody who knows what they're talking about. So I was really excited to try this. This is a cruelty free product. I like that this kind of gives fullness to my hair because I have a lot of hair and it tends to kind of weigh itself down even when I cut it into layers. I mostly really need this because I like to take showers in the evenings because I have a lot of hair and blow dry in this hot mess right before work is like, who has that much time? But also I work out at 5 a.m. So it's kind of one of those things where I like to do a body wash off afterwards, but I don't always have time to take care of this hot mess. So this has been a really great lifesaver. I don't really notice too much of a gray cast with it, but there is a slight gray cast, at least on dark hair. On lighter hair, probably not, but it definitely brushes through so it's not like it stays all day. This one is specifically for volume. I'm interested in trying some of their other types where it's kind of more like that tousled hair look and things like that. Do you guys like this and have you tried it yet? I'm really enjoying it. The next product I'm going to be talking about was kind of a last minute purchase. I was intending to buy the Mac Fix Plus when it was during the Ulta 21 day sale because I had just run out of that and I thought perfect timing. But I've been a little bit more mindful lately of what I've been bringing into my beauty space. You guys know I've been trying to be a little bit more frugal but at the same time not have duplicates and I was like well you know I wanted to try the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist, Rose Water and Green Tea. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I was really intrigued about it, and I happened to pick it up, and I don't like duplicates in my beauty space, so it was kind of like, I think I'm gonna try this for a while and see how I like it. But also, and I kind of briefly touched on this in a previous video, I'm not saying I'm like cruelty-free, but I like that this product is cruelty-free. Um, I need to do a lot more digging and research into something like that before I could proclaim something like that on my channel because there are so many amazing YouTubers that are cruelty free and they are like the go-tos for information. So I've been kind of delving a little bit more into that thought process, but I'm not ready to like announce that because I do have MAC in my collection. I do have Maybelline in my collection. So I I'm still doing some research, but as I'm bringing new things in and as I'm like hunting for new holy grail pieces or things to try. I am being more mindful of if it is cruelty free or if it's not and do I really want it and, and that's a personal choice I'm not going to push that on you but I'm just going to kind of put that out there so you kind of know where my mindset was at when I did get this so I have been liking this I like it as a good setting spray kind of mixes it all together it feels really nice 
I've heard about this so much, but I was really interested to try it. So I can give you a more in-depth review later probably. I've been using this for like two or three weeks and I am really liking this so far. Oh, this is a product that you guys kept asking me about in my comments. And I did mention what it was at some point, but I think not everybody heard it. So let's talk about my nails. A lot of you guys have been asking me if this is the Kathleen Lights new polish. What am I wearing? What am I wearing? And I've actually been asked several times at like the grocery store, at the gym, that they liked my nails and what was I wearing. It's actually not KL polish. I really do want to try it. But this is the Sally Hansen Miracle Gel Step 1. It's only a one step. And this is in the shade Let's Get Digital. And it is like a blue sparkle iridescent shade. I like this a lot because it also gives like a thickness to my nails because it is like a gel, not just a polish. But I can say about this, a little con about it, is that I build it up to be a little bit more iridescent. It comes on kind of transparent. It's kind of see-through with like a coat. Like it's a good top coat for something else underneath it if you want as well. But all I do is just build it up till it's the shade that I like, which is just kind of more of this blue iridescent. I've been loving this and so many of you have asked me again and again what I'm wearing. So here it is again. It's the Sally Hansen's Let's Get Digital. Okay, so in order to get to another fave, I have to tell you about a fail. I have been on the hunt for good drugstore mascaras. And some of you had given me some recommendations, so I was pulling them all up on my phone when I was going to the drugstore the other day. And I was trying to find, and I didn't know this. This is gonna sound really silly, like I should have known this. I have a freaking channel on YouTube. I should have known this. Um, I was looking for Essence, and Essence is not in the drugstores. It's just a drugstore price. So I had to order that from Ulta, but in the meantime, I was really needing a good mascara. So I picked up the Wet n Wild Lash Renegade. I had seen a few like people posting about it, but I hadn't really dug too far into it to find out if it was good or not, and that's a shame on me. Maybe some people love this, but for me, this little wand thought it could be kind of cool, but it's very um, fickle. I have big eyes, so maybe that's the problem, but I couldn't get it the way I liked it. My lashes never looked great. I just think the wand on this one just wasn't cutting it for me. It wasn't working right. So then I went out to the store and I got the Wet n Wild Max Volume Mascara. And I thought, well, I, I still want to try Wet n Wild. I still feel like I love the brand. I want to try it. I got this and I like this wand better, but this one is like totes dry. I must have gotten a bad one or it's just not a formula that works for me. It's super duper dry. So what I was doing in the meantime was taking this wand and putting it into this container and building up lashes and it doesn't stick. So I had to keep, you know, having a, this is a Frankenstein of makeup right here. That's just what it had. Long story long, when I purchased one of these, I also bought my Physicians Formula Butter Highlighter. So excited. I got the shade Pearl, which is more of the white shade. And I am just like, I didn't think I'd like it. I thought I'd like it. I'm not saying I didn't think I'd like it, but I didn't know if I would like the white. I kept going back and forth holding like two or three in my hand. But these little suckers are like, what, $11? So I was like, I'm not buying two. And I really thought I would really like this one. And I really have. I'm actually wearing it today on my face and on my collarbone. This is so beautiful. I've wanted to try one for so long. I, I really, really like it. And I do want to try a few of the other shades now. I like how it really works with my skin and it just gives this nice sheen shine that pops. Like I turn my face and I see the highlight, you know? I'll just keep doing it. A recent purchase I got to go with that is this little Wet n Wild brush. They can't keep me away, Wet n Wild. I keep coming for you. This is actually supposed to be a crease brush. It's like two or three dollars at Walgreens. And I saw the shape of it and I really liked it because I was like, I want to use that for highlighter. So I literally just put that in and apply right here and I can control some highlight and put it on my face. I really like this and it's a cheap way to get a fun highlighting brush that isn't super expensive. I don't know why, but sometimes when I see highlighting brushes, it's like once they have a different name to it, it gets more expensive. This worked just fine. I like it. The other fail that I have that I don't actually have is the Ardell Lash Glue. I was sitting down here to film a video for you guys and I just bought it that morning. And I tried three different times to get that shit to work and I couldn't get it to work. It would not work. It wouldn't 
stick the eyelash on my eye, no matter how long I waited, no matter how much I put on, and then I would just sit here and let it dry forever and then see if it was tacky enough, nothing worked. It was so, so aggravating. Do you guys have a lash glue that you love if you wear lashes? Like, tell me, because I'm still on the hunt for a good one. I just had an order come in from Ulta, and they had a sale on butter bronzers, and I got one of the brand new ones. I told you guys I needed to investigate that more. This is the Sun Kissed Bronzer, and I can do a comparison for you in another video if you're interested with the original bronzer that I have, but this one definitely has more of like a red undertone for kind of like that sun tanned look, so it's not like an undertone of brown. It's more of an undertone of red. I am really, really liking this. I'm actually wearing it today, and I think it's really really flowed naturally and it's like the other one where you can kind of build it up to get to the level that you want and for my skin it works really well so far I've only tried it like three or four days but I'm already excited about it so I don't want to say it's a fave or a fail yet because I mean I think it's gonna be a fave but I don't know what what if the color doesn't work long term I don't know what if the formula is different oh it better not be we're gonna find out you guys have also recommended this to me in the comments when I told you I was looking for some beauty sponges. The Eco Tools Total Perfecting Blender was also on sale for like $2.99 or something like that. So I was sure to grab one of these. I can't wait to try it. I am still kind of finishing up one of my Real Technique sponges. So when I'm looking for a fresh one in the next week or so, I'm going to be busting this baby out and comparing it. I did find a few other things that I want to tell you that I'm trying and I'm liking so far. Now. I'm feeling a little ballsy, feeling a little like, hmm, I'm, I want to try something that I've never tried before. How about a contour that is a cream with oily skin? Let's just see what we could do. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. I have always stayed away from creams because you guys know I am oily and things can move around on oily skin. I just really wanted to try it because I've never really, as an adult, with tools that I actually feel like I know how to use, put these things on my face. I'm actually wearing it today and I've been wearing it for about two or three days. I do have the highlight shades underneath my eyes today and I do have the contour, pretty much the deepest tones, right here. I kind of did under my chin, on my nose, on my forehead. I think I like it, but I don't know. Is it going to break me out when it gets a little bit warmer next week? Am I going to melt in the middle of my work day? Am I going to look like an ice cream cone that's melted? I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. So I'm going to be testing this to see if it will work with my oily skin. Have you guys tried the Anastasia cream palette? Do you like it? What do you, what do you think? I've never tried it. I've literally never tried an Anastasia palette like this, though. So I'm totally lost. I'm just I'm just getting crazy over here. Um, this is a Lorac Lumina Satin Blush. Yeah, I, Nicole Fisher, bought a blush. Did you all pass out yet? I almost did. I was like, oh, I'm interested in that. And then I was like, who am I? I'm interested in a blush? That's new. This little baby pink peachish shade. I thought, you know, it could be too light for me, but I'm kind of intrigued by this. And so far, I really am liking it. It's just like a nice dust of a light pink. I am wearing this today, and I was actually excited to try it on the past few days. So, I'm not saying I'm a blush convert, but maybe I'm finally starting to find blushes that speak to me that aren't just something that goes well with a bronzer. You know what I mean? And the last product I'm super duper excited to be trying. Now that it's getting warmer, and I feel like I'm not going to want as heavy of a base of makeup as I always do. This is the Pure 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. This is a powder foundation. I have not gravitated to something like this in years. Years and years. We're talking throw it back to when Bare Minerals was a big hit back in the day. That's when I was doing the powder foundation. So I got this uh, recommendation from Andrea Matiliano here on YouTube. You guys know we did a collab recently. And she said that this was in her 21 day of Ulta, like what she'd recommend. And I was like, okay, I trust you. We have similar skin. And I've only tried it once or twice so far, but I really did like it. I thought it did give a nice like light to medium coverage. So that way once I feel like I'm ready for that. I can bust this out or just on a weekend instead of doing a full face, pop this on, maybe a little bronzer, lashes, and go. I've only tried this a few times, but I was impressed with the amount that I, I was impressed 
with the times that I did try it. So I'll keep you posted. Have you tried this before? And where? tell me any tips that you have about it because I'm really excited about this. Now for my shout outs. I'm so excited to do this every month. The YouTuber that I'm going to be shouting out this month is Angie Mayhem. We follow each other on YouTube and on Instagram. She is so funny and her looks I mean, if you're looking for someone to pull together some dramatic, amazing, beautiful looks, go check her out. I'm going to be linking her below. She's, she's amazing. She's an artist. And if you want to get fancy with your makeup, she can help you out. Now for you guys, I love shouting out my frequent commenters. These are my viewers that don't have channels. You guys just let me know how much you love the makeup that I talk about, boxy charm, faves and fails. We talk in the comments all the time. I love seeing you guys there. Stephanie D, girl, I see you all the time down there. How you doing? Bridget Snyder, I see you down there all the time. You're letting me know your thoughts. I love that. Amanda Lynn, I think you follow me on Instagram as well. I love seeing you in the comments. You always let me know your thoughts. You always put detailed information. I love that. Sarah Tomlinson, it was so funny because you commented recently on one of my BoxyCharm videos and I screen grabbed it and put it on my Instagram on the stories because it was so funny. You were like, I don't even get BoxyCharm but I love all your videos and I watch them all. I thought that was so funny and so sweet of you, so thank you so much, girl. The Disconnected Wife, girl, I see you all, all the time down in my comments. I love you guys so much, thank you so much. I love interacting with you guys in the comments. It's really one of my favorite parts of doing YouTube, so thank you guys so much. And you never know, just because I didn't shout you out this time does not mean you won't be in my next Faves and Fails shoutouts. Thank you so much for watching, and if you are new to my channel, I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun, loud, weird, unique videos I put out every single week. Bye, friends!